extremely talented, and I, I don't really know him for a short period of time, but I know that he's extremely talented because he's a cool guy. Uh, some may see him as the asshole in the blue shirt. I see him as an extremely, extremely, extremely talented comedian. Everyone please welcome to the stage, the asshole in the blue shirt, Ryan Roberts! I met this guy like five minutes ago. He's already calling me an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys feeling tonight? Don't ask me how I feel. It's cool. Uh, I'm actually feeling pretty shitty. Um, I woke up this morning just like feeling like crap. Not like sick or anything, but you know, just like when your body, I don't know, it just feels like complete garbage, you know? So, I don't know. I was hanging out with my buddy, and my buddy, he was like, he was like, ah, I feel bad for you, you know, whatever. Right? So what should I do? You know, what should I do to uh, feel better about myself? He was like, I don't know, you know, drink some water, eat some fruit. It's not rocket science. And I was like, I don't know, I thought that was kind of funny because like I would never think of that. You know, like, growing up with my family, we had like that plate, uh, the fake like plastic decorative fruit. You know, anybody's parents ever had this? Yeah. And uh, like it was cool because like we all knew not to eat it, uh, except for my one brother Jeffrey. Jeffrey, he wasn't so lucky. He got down to eating about three or four pieces uh, before my parents got to him. And, uh, you know, we, we were a little bit worried about him, but, you know, we thought he'd be all right. We'd just poop it out or something. But um, he actually wound up being a little bit slow from this. And uh, my, my parents, I thought they made a good decision. They did what I could do. And they put him up for adoption. <laughs> actually. Didn't really technically put him up for adoption, we just kind of left him at the train station <laughs> in Newark. In Newark. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to leave him, you know, down the train station down the street from you. I mean, he was slow, but even as far as going through his way home, you know? <laughs> That's mom's house. <laughs> no, but, uh, I don't know. So, I mean, we thought we had, the, uh, you know, the picture-perfect family after that. It was, it was pretty cool. But there was something missing, you know? It was a boy. And, um, so, we got a dog, and, uh, we named him Jeffrey, so, uh, so, uh, the other day I deleted contacts off my iPhone, and, uh, has anybody ever done this before? Deleted contacts off your phone? No? Right, it's like, uh, working at Morgan here. Uh, alright, no, so anyway, if you, if you guys have never had the experience before, uh, what happens is that your numbers are still saved, but, like, the names, they're, they're non-existent anymore. So uh, this presented like more of a problem than I could have ever possibly imagined uh, because my grandma and my drug dealer have uh, very similar numbers. <laughs> uh, all right, so it was my grandma's birthday. So I called up my drug dealer and I started singing happy birthday to him. And uh, you know, I told him that I loved him. And that, that wasn't really too bad, actually. Uh, you know, because it was his birthday the week before, and, you know, it was alright. Uh, the real problem was when I called my grandma up at 4 o'clock in the morning for an eight ball. Uh, you know, I kind of really cut the shit. And, uh, yeah, that, that really didn't go over too well. Um, but it was cool because the next day I took both of them out for dinner, for the birthdays. And, uh, you, you'd be kind of surprised at how much, you know, your grandma and your drug dealer have in common. Um, <laughs> You know, one works in powders, one works in pills. <laughs> At least the powders, you don't have to shove up your ass, you know? <laughs> but it's cool, so every Sunday, me and my grandma and my drug dealer, we go out to dinner now. And it's, it's awesome, right? Because I get, I get a sweet family rate uh, on cocaine, you know, so. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And, uh... What else? What else? I forgot my whole set. What am I supposed to do? You, sir, you got any good knock knock jokes? Looks like you got some knock knock jokes now. Right. Right. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, uh, well, anyway, I was watching, uh, you know, Clint Eastwood movies the other day. You ever seen Grand Torino? It's a pretty badass movie, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, it's like, I can't really take, uh, you know, Clint Eastwood too seriously in that movie because, like, I don't know, man, like, this is one part, he's leaning up against the refrigerator, and he's got that mean, you know, classic Clint Eastwood look on his face. But he's got his sweatpants, like, pulled up to his nipples. <laughs> Come on, dude. How much for this thing to serious, man? And, uh, I don't know, I, I was watching Dirty Harry. That's a badass movie right there. 
And uh, a weird thought came into my head as I was watching him. Uh, I was like, what does this guy's junk look like? <laughs> No, not, not very healthy. I know, I understand. It's not cool. But anyway, this girl with me here. Picture like the whole crew just like kind of, you know, hanging low. His left nut's got like that classic, you know, like navy tattoo of an anchor on it. So, like, his, his balls are all just like cut up and scarred from being in knife fights and shit. And uh, his dick is just hanging out smoking unfiltered Marlboro Red. <laughs> Real husky boy. <laughs> That's, uh, that's what I think about. Uh, <laughs> you know that shit. Um, <laughs> Alright, did, did you guys ever realize like how lazy you are? Sometimes you're like, you're so lazy it makes you like sick to your own stomach. And like, this, today, today actually, I was just sitting there drinking, uh, drinking some water on my like, my nice leather computer chair. And I dribbled a little bit and I got on the seat. And uh, I was like, fuck, I should get up and get a napkin and wipe this off, you know? But I was like, what's the laziest possible way I can handle this? And so I just like kind of like skidded my ass across the seat and like soaked it up with my jeans. I was like, I'm lazy, but I'm a thinker, you know? <laughs> no, but uh, I don't know, it gets, it gets really annoying like when you, when you have to deal with other lazy people, like lazy roommates. Like I have these lazy roommates, they're like dirty, dirty uh, you know, pots and pans all over the place. And uh, like the garbage is always overflowing and spilling it onto the floor. We have a cat with the same problem, uh, you know, we have a litter box, same thing, you know, spilling out over onto the floor, it's just, it's not really like a litter box anymore, it's just like the stinky pile of cat pieces in the corner. <laughs> it's really gross, yeah. And then our sponge, our sponge we're supposed to clean our dishes with, it's so old and black, it looks like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I don't know. I mean, a lot of black people don't like that joke. Um, and I figured out why, because, Morgan Freeman is the black people's Tom Hanks. <laughs> you don't mess around with that right there. You know? You don't do it. You know, if you start talking about Tom Hanks, that would be happy. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so, anyway, I gotta ask you guys a quick question. Or maybe I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a talk back, so. <laughs> um, all right, so I think that me personally, uh, I don't know, you guys think there's a God? Hell no. Yeah, all right, well, I got mixed, mixed views on that. That's cool. I appreciate that. Uh, if, there, <laughs> if there is a God, uh, I think he wants certain people to go to hell. I truly believe this. And I think I am one of those people. Yeah. Um, just on pure thoughts alone, not even actions. Um, and I think even if I was able to make it into heaven, like the only shot I had was like if, as I was being baptized, like an asteroid was just like screaming towards the planet. <laughs> but I don't even think uh, it would have worked then because I, I probably would have seen it coming and been like, "Fuck." <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty sure if you if you like curse as you know you're being baptized, it pretty much voids the contract with the great and powerful laws. I mean, I mean, God, I'm sorry. It's just too messed up. Uh, so I gotta ask you guys a question. Oh, and the audience. I need your help on this one. Huh? Who said that? Alright, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. First person to respond. I appreciate that. Um, Alright, so I need to ask you guys what do you think the most useless job in society is? Teacher, politician. <laughs> Teachers, that, that's kind of fucked up. That's like everybody's hero. This guy's like, teachers, yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Didn't have a good experience with a third grade teacher. It's like, fuck that asshole. Because <laughs> I couldn't spell Wednesday. <laughs> uh, me, personally, I think it's got to be the person uh, that tells you you have AIDS. No, I do. Uh, well, I guess that's good news, man. I don't know what to tell you about him. No, I, I think it's gotta be the person who tells you you have AIDS, because you just kind of figure that out when you're dead. <laughs> oh Ooh, that was dark. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what's wrong with you people, you know? I told that joke at an AIDS festival, and people were dying. <laughs> My name is Ryan Robinson. Thank you very much, man. <laughs>